Hello everybody and uh, welcome to my fourth Access uh, 2013 tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to show you how you can link multiple tables together uh, using your table relationships. Um, and this is quite a powerful thing uh, in Access and something you really need to get your head around because it's kind of the basis for everything that we're going to go through. Um, so pay close attention uh, and take notes if you've got a pen. Um, so uh, the, the first thing I'm going to do is just going to rename my table here. So let's just rename that. I'm going to call this my users table because uh, this has got kind of all my users detail in here. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new table in here. Uh, so let's go to create and table design. Um, this is going to be my sales table. So let's just save it to start off and put it as sales. Um, and uh, I need to, to have a field first. So um, each sale, I want to know which customer I'm doing. Uh, so I'm going to put in my user ID. And then I'm going to want to have my own primary key. So I'm going to have this as my sale ID. Um, and this is, I'm just going to set it up as an auto number. And what an auto number does is every time I add a new record, the auto number is going to um, just be the next number along. Um, and your new values you can set to either be random uh, or you can just increment it by one each time, which is what I'm going to do. My user ID I've already set before, so it needs to be a long integer. Uh, I'm then going to have the uh, item name, which will be a short text, no longer than a 64. Uh, I'm then going to have the item cost, which again will be uh, currency. Uh, and we want our currency, I'm going to do mine in pounds. Um, and then let's just have a quantity as well quantity and we want this to be a number and we'll have that as a long integer now um let's save this now that just as sales press ok uh it's going to say no primary keys defined and i do want to define a primary so let's press cancel and then let's put it as our sale id because that's going to be the only thing that's going to be unique here because one user might have more than uh, one uh, sale and uh, you might have to sell the same item more than once you might have the same costs and you almost certainly have the same quantities so let's press save sales okay so now we've got our table uh, and we go into our sales table um, and you might be thinking well I want to store more information about my users for their sale well actually we're going to be able to do that because where we've got our user ID we're going to link this into our users table and then we can pull out the rest of the information for that user. So let's put in a sale. So you ignore the sale ID because this is done automatically. Uh, we're then going to put in our user ID. So I'm going to put in my one. Notice how the number's automatically gone to one. Uh, I'm then going to put in the item name, so uh, chocolate cake. Uh, the item cost uh, is £4, it's a pretty big cake. I only had one of them because I'm not that greedy. Um, and then, so that's our first sale. Uh, let's say I went in and bought some more cake because uh, I'm a fatty fatty. Uh, and so what we're going to do is just going to copy that record. I'm going to paste it in here. Notice how the auto number still works out itself, which is very useful. Uh, let's say I just went in the next day and brought two more cakes because um, I, I just love the cake. Um, so now I've got two sales for me. Uh, so let's press close. Now I want to be able to go to my user now and see what sales he has. So in order to do this, I'm going to need to link these two tables together. Um, so if we go to our database tools, and go to this relationships. Uh, before we do that, we just want to make sure we've got all our tables closed down because otherwise we can't actually do this. So let's go to our database tools, relationships. Uh, and in our relationships, I just want to add 
both of my tables in here. So add and add. Um, and you'll see it's got all the different fields uh, and then it's got my primary keys highlighted as well. So you just want to match up your um, your your uh, user ID in here. So we click this, drag across and click it on user ID. Uh, and it's going to just say user ID and it equals user ID from my users to my sales. Um, and let's press create. And it's going to have this nice little symbolic line that points from user ID to user ID. Uh, so let's save our relationships now. Press save and then close. And now this is linked to the two tables. So if I go into my users table, you notice I've now got this little uh, expandable thing here. Um, and if I click on this for me, then it's going to bring through my sales in here. Um, and it does, it's not going to have all the whole sales table because it doesn't need to repeat the user ID again. Um, but what this just allows you to do is just link your tables together and now we've got a really useful view of how many sales each person has had. Um, so you notice that these haven't got any, so it doesn't have any in there. Um, but you've also noticed that we can add completely new ones in. So let's say Milo doesn't like cake, so she went in and brought some uh, Krispies uh, and they cost uh, 50p uh, and she brought one packet um, and then let's de-expand that uh, and if we go back into our sales then you'll see that that record's been added in so this can be a really good way um, of kind of linking tables and making it easier to put in certain information um, but really, uh, when we come onto queries, you're going to start seeing why linking them together is really important. Um, the, the fact that you can expand them is kind of nothing compared to what we will come onto. Um, so that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, uh, I'm just going to go a bit more into database normalization uh, as a concept. Uh, I'm not going to go into it too much because you could kind of write entire books on it. Um, but I'll just give you kind of a brief overview and some tips for your database normalization. So thanks for listening. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below or chuck them on our forum. Uh, and if you're liking these tutorials, we release new ones every Wednesday. So just click on the subscribe button uh, and you'll get notified through YouTube whenever we put new videos on. Uh, so thanks for listening and I'll catch you soon.